ever seen them? Bagels? They have this shape. This is a bagel. It's a, um, uh, basically a different way of making bread. So bagel, and so common. Bagel, yeah, this, these are bagels, yeah? A bagel, one bagel. Yeah, bagel, we call it bagel. But anyways, I'm not gonna do it uh, today. I just keep going because it's the first live stream by the word bread. You're gonna learn a lot from this word. That's what we do every day on every live stream, basically. We grab a word and we're talking about series now. It's a new big series, food. We're finished with animals. We're not finished, we've done like three animals. And then we're having a break. And then we had to the word food, and we done water, uh, done bread, next gonna be butter. But after I finish with bread, maybe like three, four live stream, when you have enough few, I feel like you're tired, I'm gonna head back to the word water again and keep, and keep going from there, yeah? So that's what we do. So bagel. Um, the question is, why do we do that? Why I chose to do that? Why? Because I think this is the, uh, from my own experience, this is the best way to learn, is um, group uh, learning, revolving your learning around um, basic stuff. For example, it's organizing your head. You've got animals, you've got bread, you've got clothing, you've got uh, transportation, and then you work around that meaning. And then all of a sudden, after watching, <laughs> You're going to realize that you're building on a lot of English capabilities. You just don't notice it. You just start speaking English in a more natural way because we try to target um, uh, every area or aspects of English language, culture, uh, grammar, vocabulary, uh, synonyms, antonyms. Because when you're writing an essay, instead of saying like earlier, I get a car, I buy myself a car. And then when you refer to that again, you said my purchase, yeah? That makes your um, uh, essay more rich and people, they would tend to read it more. And if you do an exam, you set an exam, you do an exam, you set an exam, you pass an exam. See, these are all synonyms. How can you build that? It's as follows, like you do like that, like you do synonyms, antonyms, uh, phrasal verbs, idioms, instead of saying someone stopped me at the back by saying, by um, uh, not keeping the secret, you'd be like, uh, he rat on me. We learned that last time when we done the word rat. The third live stream by the word rat, he ratted on me, yeah? It means, or he blew my cover. These are all kind of like within the same sphere. He blew my cover. He told something about me they shouldn't have said. We have got, I think it's Metin, Turkish name, yeah? But you wrote it in Russian, hi to you. Nice to see you here. Um, Luna, welcome. Yes, I invite him. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you shared the room. Thanks for sharing the room, really. I appreciate that. Uh, please make sure to share the room as well. If you feel like we need to, you've got people, we should meet. <laughs> Hi, Piria, nice to see you again. Um, yeah, please let, get, let us get to know um, as many of you. Thank you so much, Luna. Sorry about that, I was busy delivering the thing. It's really hard, we should bring them. Uh, yeah, we should save that. <laughs> I'm really like, I'm really trying to um, be not, you know, as nasty as I should. <laughs> but seriously, like I go on, like I go on Hello Talk, like most of you. And I look and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> but anyways, I would like not. I, do, I wouldn't like to interfere, yeah? I don't want to be criticizing. Everyone's got their own content, whatever. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if you're really like on this platform to learn and get your English to the next level, I think you should be careful whom you are watching, which live stream you're looking for, whether they really meet your needs, yeah? Because 
<laughs> you know how Hello Talk is like, yeah, unfortunately, that's, you know, um, yeah. So you should be really careful, yeah? We've got faith, true. Um, yeah, you should be really careful whom you're watching or whom you're following. You might get, I get that, like, I get this feedback. I started live stream for like a month, but I've been on Hello Talk now for 10 years. I know, like, this platform is too familiar to me. Uh, but anyways, I get always that feedback. Oh, I've been especially like, uh, I would say for two years now, started doing like live stream, basically Hello Talk, trying to compete with uh, TikTok uh, by doing this feature live streaming, yeah? Um, I seen as like, I see them every day live streaming, you know, like, and, and people, they just get back to me my language partners or whatever they tell me i've been watching live streams on hello talk for six months i feel like i'm not progressing well you need to be careful then yeah you need to look into what you're watching whether they're really teaching you yeah uh stream first i think tiktok yeah tiktok is uh, working on that uh, more like um i mean the main feature with tiktok is live stream but obviously tiktok has got its own issues as well and let's be honest it's also our world something like for example on social media like i don't like the idea of sexualizing women you see naked women exposing their bodies everywhere and unfortunately there is they've got their viewers you see like women like um like 10 million followers or whatever like I don't like it, me personally, yeah? I don't like it, but that's our world, unfortunately. Men, they want to see naked women or whatever. And women, they would like to see... That's what, uh, you know, what's on there, unfortunately, yeah? But our world is crazy. I don't want to um, um, promote, like... I don't want to, like, kind of, like, promote uh, that, like, as a fact. But that's, unfortunately, what I see every day on social media. I don't like it. But anyways, like I said, TikTok's got its own issues as well. Uh, people wasting time and money and effort or whatever. But anyways, well, I don't have TikTok, so I'm good. Uh, I have TikTok, yeah? I have TikTok, but I'm trying to use it judicially, yeah? I'm trying to use it smartly, yeah? Um, like... I think every social medium has got their own pros and cons and it's up to you to decide whether you use it or not. I use it, but I don't waste my time. I don't waste my time. It helps me um, kind of like broaden my horizon more and it's just a different way to see people. Uh, yeah, so I use it. I'm not like me. I'm not the guy who says like, oh, Snapchat is for um younger generation it's not me i'm 35 year old no i don't uh, my mind doesn't work like that me but i use every platform and interact and see and i get the best try to get the best of all yeah because uh, every platform has got their own pros and cons yeah yeah i know it's your opinion and i respect your opinion it's just my opinion is like i use and i get uh, to use features or whatever but anyways uh, but when it comes to language learning yeah you might spend ages on a platform watching someone aging interacting with them sending gifts or whatever if it's like obviously you just want entertainment and you like that person or whatever you just want to send your money or whatever that's your choice of course but for me when it comes to learning, yeah, I've been, like I said, I've been using Hello Talk for 10 years, yeah, and it's a great way to improve your language skills. I speak seven languages in total, yeah. If you want to, to, um, to improve your language skills, yeah, on Hello Talk, you have to be in my my piece of advice you have to be really careful choosing who whom you're watching and what for if you're watching like a woman or man because they look nice yeah then you're gonna get what how they look nice that's it you're not gonna get language that's it 
she's gonna get that but anyways everyone is obviously free to do whatever they want uh, in the end just don't complain about like watching someone they don't give you what you need and then i've uh, been hello talk is not good no hello talk has got their own pros and contrast as well that's it you just need to learn how to use these you know pros on your favor yeah uh, but anyways, so uh, we done uh, cornbread. I'm gonna talk about something really common here in in the UK. Garlic bread, so delicious, yeah, and it's so versatile. You can make your own. You can turn your own. I'm uh, originally I'm Algerian, so I turn Algerian bread into garlic brand yeah garlic bread is so delicious so easy you can turn naan bread into oh God, actually if you're indian or you love naan bread you've got naan bread it's your access you can oh yeah garlic bread so delicious me i turn algerian bread into garlic bread i taught my family to do that so delicious i have tiktok and just watch an english sharing dance yeah that's your uh meeting the Turkish guy that's your policy yeah uh, like you choose what like you can't say TikTok is bad or Facebook is bad or social media but in general to me in my opinion I don't like sexualizing women or even women sexualizing themselves because they found a niche in that people they would watch them yeah but me I, I I'm not interested anyway so I don't like it like whenever I open uh, social media women pop pop up everywhere like i don't like it. i don't want to watch you <laughs> but anyways so a, a garlic bread bread that has been spread with a mixture of butter garlic and herbs so delicious if you don't have it in your country you can turn any oh yeah matlo that's algerian one of the algerian traditional breads yeah not baguette is so delicious with garlic you should try it yeah definitely i love it i could turn any ter algerian bread into and even baguette what i do is because sometimes for a reason or another i don't want to share that with you so my mama-in-law gets free food yeah and she sends me baguettes yeah and the french baguettes i take the inside out and I spread, like I said, a mixture of garlic, um, um, mashed garlic, and oil, olive oil, or um, butter, and some herbs, mixed herbs. In French, we talk about uh, herbe de Provence, yeah? And then you mix them all together, spread it all over your baguette, even a baguette. Could I disagree with you? I agree with Matlo, it's so delicious, but also baguettes, so delicious. Garlic, to make garlic bread. Not baguette, it's so delicious with garlic, you should try it. Yeah, I'm hungry now. Go eat then. <laughs> Go to eat. You can still eat while we're watching me, seriously. Garlic bread with beans. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bean soup, so one of my favorites. And I love soups in general they're so healthy easy i even sometimes follow like today i'm following a a diet so basically five days a week all what i eat on lunch and dinner is just soup no processed food healthy soup five days a week and i've got to enjoy <laughs> the other uh, two such a nice easy way to um maintain your you know like your health vitality you lose weight as well yeah i'm still overweight a little bit nowadays but i think if i keep doing it i've been doing it before and it helped me a lot healthy that's why i get always the feedback taki you look younger you don't look like 35 year old that's what i do uh, hydration more like non-processed food I try to avoid process but obviously i'm a human being like use i crave things i crave garlic bread with beans oh yeah yeah <laughs> but uh, usually like i said i love soups i even follow a soup diet here yeah? soup diet eat um two bowls of soups every day 
of soup. So you've got on lunch a bowl and on dinner another uh, bowl to stop sugar and bread so I lose weight. Yeah, yeah. The main thing is uh, cut and to cut down, we say in English to stop or to cut down. Stop is basic, cut down is advanced. I would say B to C1, general English, to cut down on something, that's phrasal verb, to, yeah, exactly, to cut uh, down, yeah? And then on, on, like Luna said, on, um, usually sugar, we refer to them as carbs, yeah? To cut down on carbs, yeah? So to cut down on something is the academic one is to limit, yeah? To limit, um, to cut down, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, it's not high. Sorry about that. So to cut down, sorry guys, to cut down on carbs, yeah? Carbs is for ca carbohydrates, yeah? Like sugars and uh, non-refined sugars because there is refined sugars. They are, uh, no, sorry, on refined sugars to cut down on bread as well. This is carbs, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's processed carbohydrates, bread. It's processed, yeah? So you cut down, yeah, carbohydrates, well done, Mitten, yeah? Carbohydrate or carbs when you're like, in non-academic setting to cut down on carbs or the synonym like we said one of the strategies you should use to memorize vocabulary not just uh, for example carbohydrate and you translate it into your native language turkish or arabic or french or whatever and then you memorize like that no try not to do that so to cut down on carbs try to use General English, academic English, that's how you get your English to the next level, really. So, to cut down on carbs or to limit, to limit um, eating carbohydrates. Oh, where is it? I thought I was right, didn't it? To um, limit eating carbohydrates where is it i can see it yeah so um sorry something is wrong with my keyboard i don't think it's working efficiently but i keep right ah oh, there you go to a limit eaten carbohydrates that's it Try to memorize that this way, yeah? So instead of saying uh, to cut down, to limit, cut down, or cut down, to memorize it, to translate it directly to your own language, say to cut down on carbs or to limit eating carbohydrates, yeah? And I know that the, the false feedback you always have that's not natural english sorry sir the first one is spoken english but it's general english yeah but the second one is academic english if i'm writing an essay or a certain exam ielts or toefl or whatever where you're setting an academic version or you're watching a documentary or you go to the doctors to the uk here you're speaking to your doctor and then you say, I'm cutting down. Yeah, it would look all right though still, yeah? But you could say, I'm limiting eating uh, carbohydrates. That's it, more academic. Memorize this way. Oh, I can see it now, look at it. But anyway, so to cut down on carbs or to limit, here you learn, you've learned to cut down, synonym to limit eating, carbs for carbohydrates so you have targeted a lot so far but anyways i think it's 60 minutes i've been live streaming for uh 60 minutes so far we could take it from there next time yeah keep an eye on 
Hello Talk Moments on Facebook page Learn English Live with Taki. I'll let you know before I go live. Usually, I tell you like that. Um, yeah, you're welcome, Luna. Yeah, hope to see you soon. I hope you finish with your exams or your work or whatever. Metin, nice to see you today too. Unfortunately, it's like my schedule is so full. Uh, but I try to go live whenever I can. I'll let you know. Uh, usually I go live in the night. I might go live tonight as well. So keep an eye on my moments on Hello Talk or Facebook. Usually I post before I go live uh, on Hello Talk. Yeah, you two have a nice to have a nice one because I don't know what time is it in your countries in Algeria because it's my home country in Turkey. I don't know or other countries. We've got different flags here, but have a good one. Yeah, you two have a good one. Nice to see you all. Um, I have to see you soon. Bye.